Hello viewer, welcome to Elimo TV where you watch and learn. I am your teacher, Madam Christina Koth, taking you through Biology Lesson 8, Form 4. Still on the same topic, Genetics 2, and today we are going to look to talk about or rather learn about mutation. So welcome viewer. So let us first start by looking at the assignment that I gave you in Lesson 7. So the assignment was, state the possible genotypes of a normal person in relation to hemophilia. So the genotypes, this is the genetic makeup, which is different from the phenotype, which is the physical appearance. So in terms of the genotype, the genetic makeup, which are possible in a person who is having hemophilia, it can either be a male or a female. So when it comes to a male, if we have a normal male, it, we're going to denote it using a male, it's XY. Then hemophilia, if the H is capital, it means that person is normal. If the H is small, it means that person is affected. So in the males, we only have two genotypes. That is the X, a big H up there, the capital H, then a Y. That means it's a normal male. A person who is a male and he's affected, he's hemophilic, it means we're going to put X, H, uh, the small H, because it is affected only with the X chromosome, then the Y. So those are the two genotypes found on the male. In the female, it's different because we have two, uh, we have three genotypes. For a normal female, we have H means that the person is normal, the capital H. So we have XX and we have a superscript there, H up. That means this person is a normal female. Then we have a carrier. A carrier means that on the phenotype, it's not going to show, but on the genotype, it's going to show. So that means uh, this person has two of the alleles. That is the capital H and the small h. And we know for a female, we denote it using both the X chromosome. So it is an X and an X. Then the H is going to be capital and the other H which is going to be a small. Then the other genotype of the female is a person who is hemophilic and is a female. It means that she is affected. So in this case, we're going to have the small H, the superscript that up there. And for a female, it is an X and an X. So I hope you got that in your assignment. Question number two. On which chromosome is the gene that causes hemophilia linked to? We discussed about this in the previous lesson. We said that the hemophilia is linked to the X chromosome. The same applies to the colorblindness. Question number three, what is colorblindness? So colorblindness is the inability to distinguish the differences between certain color. Then we have a specific type of colorblindness we call the red green color blindness so that one affects it is the inability of somebody to notice or differentiate between a red and a green or any shades of red and green so that is color blindness the fourth question was what will be the genotype and the phenotype of offspring between a carrier woman and a hemophilia and a hemophilia normal male. So you can either use the Punnett square or the X or the cross. So in my case, I use the Punnett square. If we have a carrier woman, it means that you're going to have the first X that have a capital H and the second X that has a small H to denote that this woman is a carrier. Then we go to the male a normal male will carry the H, the capital H, on the X chromosome because hemophilia is linked to the X chromosome. Now, when you do the cross, the first one, uh, the X and the X, they will both produce a normal girl. Then the second, the X and the other X from the female, it will produce a carrier girl who will have both of alleles, which are capital H and a small H. The third cross will be a normal boy from the X, capital H, and the Y. Then the last one will have a hemophilic boy because the X, it bears the chromosome, it bears the allele which is responsible for hemophilic, which is in 
a small letter. So we're going to have the genotype uh, there. Then for the phenotype, we're going to have a normal girl, a normal boy, a carrier girl, and a hemophilic boy. So in our previous lesson, we learned about the sex-linked genes, and we talked about hemophilia and colorblindness. So there's another type of uh, linked genes that is carried on. This one is different because it is carried on the Y chromosome only. So this one is in regards to the hairy nose or the ears. So this is a condition where the male, specifically the male, has hairs which are growing in the pinna of the ear or has hairs which are sprouting from the inner part of the nose. So this affects the male because the allele is only carried or it is only linked to the Y chromosome. Unlike the hemophilia and the color blindness which are linked to the X chromosome. So that is an illustration showing the hairs which are sprouting from the inner part of the nose. Another illustration showing the hairs which are growing from the outer part of the ear, which we call the pinna. So those are two conditions which are just found only in the male because this, the gene is only, or the allele, is rather linked to the Y chromosome only. So let us go to the topic of the day. Today we're going to talk about mutation. So mutation brings about something we call variation. So there are various different uh, causes of variation. We have the variation that can be caused due to environment. We have variation which is caused when there is crossing over of the chromosome during meiosis. Then we also have variation which can occur uh, during the change in the structure of the gene or maybe in the chromosome. So how do we define mutation? We say mutation is the sudden change in structure or the amount of the genetic material in an organism. So this is just a change of the structure or the genetic uh, component which makes that organism. So when the structure changes and the gen genetic material also changes, it is going to alter the organisms, the organisms which will be born or the organisms which will develop. So let us look at the major terms we have in mutation. First, we have defined mutation and we have said mutation is a sudden change in the structure or the amount of the genetic materials. Then the factors that will influence or these factors which are going to cause this mutation are what we call the mutagens. For example, the X-rays which we are going to talk about in our lesson. Then we have the mutant. So this is the resulting organism or organisms that have been affected by mutations or rather the organisms which have undergone mutation. So mutation is the change in the structure. Then the factors which cause this change in the structure are what we call the mutagens. And finally, an organism that has undergone mutation is what we call the mutants. On mutation, we have two types of mutation. The first type of mutation is what we call the chromosomal mutation. Just from the word that mutation, apply, uh, it happens only on the chromosomes. Then we have another type of mutation. This one is called gene mutation. It's only affected by the gene. So we're going to learn today about the chromosomal mutation. So chromosomal mutation, this is the change in the structure of a chromosome. Just from the word chromosomal, it means that this is a change, it affects the structure of the chromosome. Or we can also define a chromosomal mutation as the change in the number of chromosomes in a given individual. So when the numbers of the chromosomes are altered or they are changed, they will result in what we call chromosomal mutation. So the causes of chromosomal mutation are as follows. Number one, the ultraviolet rays from either the sun or the X-rays. We have the cosmic rays and the gamma rays. 
We also have chemical substances which cause chromosomal mutation like the mustard gas, gas and what we call colchicine. So this is an example when you go to the hospitals and you have maybe an internal injury and you like to see if either a bone or something is broken. You have to use the x-ray so that they can uh, determine your internal structure. So by uh, the body being exposed to the x-ray, it may cause something we call the chromosomal mutation. So for example, that is a hand. When you use the x-ray, you are in a position to see the external structure, you see the structure, you see how the bones are aligned in your hands. So when you use uh, x-rays, they might cause harm in a way because they can alter the structure or the number of the chromosomes in a given individual. So we have various types of chromosomal mutation five of them to be precise. So number one, we have deletion, translocation, inversion, duplication, and non-disjunction. We're going to look at each of these. So the first four, they cause a change in the structure of the chromosome. So deletion, translocation, inversion, and duplication, they always cause a change in the structure. Then the last one, which we call the non-disjunction, it causes a change in the number of the chromosome. We're going to see more about this as we learn. So let us first look at deletion. So we're still looking at the chromosomal mutation and the first type, uh, which is what we call deletion. So deletion, just from the word to delete, uh, this it means that there's a part of a chromosome that has uh, it has broken away or has been lost or it has been deleted just from the word. For example, we have an, our illustration there. We have the chromosomes there. Uh, when we look at it, we have part A, B, C, D, E going onward up to J. So the first part, that one was the original chromosome. Then when you look at the second part, you will notice that there's a part which has been omitted or has been deleted. So if you look at we have A, B, then you go to D. You notice that part C has been deleted from that sequence. So this one will bring a change in the structure of the chromosome or in the numbers of the chromosome. So still at the same deletion, there's another illustration to try and help us understand more about uh, deletion. So we have the original sequence there. We have the bases, thiamine, adenine, cytosine, guanine. So if you look at the first one, that is the original series sequence. Then if you look at the second part, there's a part which has been deleted, the T, the thiamine. So we have the T, A, A, C. Then a part, the thiamine, has been deleted. So it leads to a different structure of a chromosome that is altering, altering the number of the uh, gene sequence there. So T has been deleted. Another type is inversion. So this is where a middle part of a chromosome, it completely breaks off and rotates 180 degrees, which causes a change in the gene frequency. So if we have, our, we have our illustration here, from the illustration we have a chromosome A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. So the first part is the original chromosome. Then the second part is the part which has been inverted. So we have G, H, and A. So in the second part, I is the one which is starting, then H, then finally going to G. So this portion of G, H, I, in the second part, it has been inverted. The G was the first one. In this end, it is the second one. So that is what we mean by inversion. The other type, we have what we call translocation. So this is the attachment of a portion of a chromosome to another chromosome which is not similar. This uh, results to additional of a gene. So looking at our illustructure here, we have two sets of chromosomes, they're not the same. We have the red one, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That is a different chromosome uh, in red. 
Then we have another part, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. So that is another set of a different chromosome. They're not the same. So if you look at the other example after the, after the arrow, you see the part which is down, the red chromosome. The part which is down there, Q, R, it has been removed, it has been translocated from the green chromosome to the red chromosome. So Q, R was initially part of the green, it has been uh, inserted in the red chromosome. Then when you look at the other chromosome, which was initially green, but the last part has been translocated from another chromosome. So F and G, this is another component of another chromosome. So that is what we mean by translocation, taking a segment of a, of a chromosome to another chromosome, which are different. Another type we have uh, of chromosomal mutation is uh, on duplication. So this is where a part of a chromosome, it replicates itself, or rather it just duplicates itself, just from the word duplication. So for example, we have the first chromosome there. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So that is the normal chromosome. Then the resulting chromosome which have been repeated we have the second chromosome there. We have A, B, C, D, E, D, E, then F, G. You can uh, notice that D, E has been repeated. So that one has been repeated once. Then the third set of chromosomes, there's also repetition, but this one has been done thrice. So we have A, B, C, D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, and finally F, G. So D, E has been repeated thrice. So that one is under duplication. Then the final part of chromosomal mutation, the fifth one is what we call non-disjunction. So this one occurs mainly when the homologous chromosome, it fails to separate during anaphase one of meiosis. So a non-disjunction mutation is the failure of the spindle fiber to separate during the meiosis. If you look at our illustration, so we, after metaphase one, we go to anaphase one. So when the spindle fibers, they will, say, they will fail to separate, it will make other daughter cells to have more cells or to have more chromosomes or less chromosomes. So for example, the first one, they're supposed to have all of them N. But in this case, this one has N plus one. So it has an additional chromosome. The second one has N plus one. So this one is also having an additional chromosome. The other ones, the two, they have N minus one. So they have minus one chromosome, all of them. So this one, it results to some daughter cells. Uh, they end up carrying more numbers of chromosomes while others are carrying fewer chromosome. So by doing this, it leads up to what we call the chromosomal mutation because they alter the number of the chromosomes which are found in an organism. So let us look at the effects of the chromosome. We have looked at all the five types of chromosomal mutation. So let us look at what happens when a chromosome is mutated in a given organism. So the first effect which is a negative effect, there's a failure of development of some body parts. So due to loss of some genes, which might have been responsible for the development of a, a certain tissue or a certain gland or a certain organ, there can be, uh, the, that specific organ can fail to develop in a body or when the child is developing. So if a gene has been deleted, which was responsible for a certain trait or a certain tissue or a certain gland in a human being. So it will mean that that baby will develop minus that body part. The second effect of chromosomal mutation is what we call the Down syndrome or we can also call it mong mongolism. This one is caused by additional chromosome in the cell. So when there's an additional chromosome, this is mainly when it's duplicated. So there's this disease we call the Down syndrome. So what are some of the symptoms? There's 
poor mental development in that specific uh, organism, that is the human being, then there's also low resistance to a specific disease. So if this person is struck by any disease, the resistance is very low. So this person is very vulnerable. Then another symptom, uh, if you look at their eyes, they are slit-like eyes and their tongues are also thick. So an illustration of a person who is having Down syndrome, if you look at our illustration here, we have a very beautiful baby, but he has this disease we call Down syndrome. If you can notice the eyes, they are slit-like and the tongue is also thick. So there are, some, there are some symptoms which you can observe, but there are some which are internal, like the, ro the low resistance to disease, that one you cannot observe. Another effect of chromosomal mutation is what we call Turner's syndrome. So this one is caused by the loss of a sex chromosome. So this person will have 44 chromosomes plus the X chromosome. Instead of having the XX chromosome, this person will have the only the X chromosome. That means one of the X chromosome has been deleted. So what are some of the symptoms? Uh, this one mostly affects the female and the victims are mostly sterile and they are abnormally dwarf. They are very short and it's only affecting the female because it's one of the X chromosome which has been deleted. Another effect of chromosomal mutation is in what we call the Klinefelter's syndrome. So this one is caused by an addition of an X chromosome in the, in the individual, especially if it's a male. A male has XY. So if you have an additional X chromosome, it means that you're going to have more characteristics which are uh, female-like. So they mostly affect the male. Then they also cause retardedness in the brain or the brain development is very slow. So what are some of the signs? So this person has uh, is a uh, muscular, uh, the tall, less muscular bodies than male their age. So they are less tall. Then because they have an additional X chromosome, they will tend to have uh, characteristics which are more of the female. For example, they will have broader hips and longer legs. And remember, these are males. Then they have larger breasts, the breast starts developing. They have weaker bones. Then they also have a lower energy levels. Additional side also, they have a very smaller penis and very smaller testicles. Then there's also a delay in puberty. Then they will also have less facial and body hair after the puberty. We all know that at puberty, the, the male should have more hairs which are growing. But in this case, because this person has an additional X chromosome, he has less facial and body hair, which will start developing after puberty. So another effect of chromosomal mutation is what we call polyploidy. So this is a condition in which a normal diploid cell or an organism will acquire one or more additional sets of chromosomes. So the polyploidy cells or organism, they have three or more types of chromosomes. So if it's development, this one normally affects the plant. So if it's in terms of development, that uh, plant will develop faster and it will be uh, bigger in size or larger than the normal uh, plant. For example, in our illustration, we have a normal fruit. So if it is, the chromosome has been affected and it undergoes this polyploidy, it means the resulting fruit is going to be bigger than the normal fruit. So that one is a result of polyploidy. So other effects of chromosomal are in terms of the organisms. For example, we have a carrot there. If it has undergone chromosomal mutation, it will tend to grow uh, more than other, uh, the normal carrot. So this one has additional growths. So those are the chromosomal mutation. If you look at something like a tomato, 
you can realize the normal tomato in terms of the sizes this one is bigger than the other because it has undergone a chromosomal mutation especially duplication of the chromosome for growth then we have another one like the maize so this one has undergone chromosomal mutation the normal maize it has just one main cob but this one it tends to having two different cobs but then if you look at the in terms of their size the one which has undergone chromosomal mutation tends to be bigger than the normal one then another effect of chromosomal mutation is uh, over emphasis of a particular trait so when a portion of a chromosome is doubled this results to an additional of an extra gene let us look at an example so this person is, uh, can we say it is dark black or charcoal black? So let's say the gene for this trait was just black. Then it has undergone duplication. So and there's an additional extra gene. So that gene will be overemphasized, leading to this person having a very uh, dark tone of black. So if you look at our illustration here, like this person, you can just observe the eyes and the teeth. So the trait of the skin pigment, the color, it has been overemphasized. Another last effect of chromosomal mutation is in the development of tumors. So these ones are caused due to the mutation of the somatic cell. So the tumors will tend to develop due to the chromosomal mutation. So if you have a normal cell, then it undergoes a genetic change. It will tend to develop maybe into a cancer cell. Then when they double up, they form the malignant tumors, which result in the cancer. So cancer may start developing due to the genetic change, which is caused by chromosomal mutation. So that has been our lesson for today and for your assignment i'm going to leave you with this define the term mutation then what is the difference between a gene and a chromosomal mutation so that has been our lesson for today remember you can uh, write to us our facebook page is elimu tv our twitter handle is at elimu underscore ke and our sms number is 22518. Thank you very much for watching Elimu TV. I have been your teacher, Madam Christina Cott, and see you in the next lesson.